Hey, this is Daniel for Adorama Pro. Today on set, we're talking about instant films. Many of you know of the Instax cameras. These are great little automatic cameras for parties. Pop the picture out, stick it in your pocket, share them with friends. But well, we, we looked at these today and different ways to use this film outside of these cameras. But what we mostly focused on was what they call peel apart film. These films have been made since the beginning of Polaroid and now Fuji has taken over with the 100C and also a 3000 black and white line. So what we talked about today was using all different cameras that might uh, take this Polaroid film to create just fun shots for your set or really interesting shots editorial wise. And then we're also going to talk about special effects you can do with some of these films. Like for instance, this was a passport camera back in the day. Now people shoot passports digitally, but this camera can shoot one or two of the same picture on one sheet of film. And again, it uses the peel apart film. So once you make your photo, you pull it out, and this is your, this is your film. You wait a couple minutes, you peel it apart, you have a photo. What I'm gonna to use today though to photograph Sharina is my favorite Polaroid camera, which is the 180. So the 180 is one of Polaroid's land cameras, which means it uses the peel apart film. It's in this Bellows style rangefinder. What makes this unique is that it's a fully manual camera. So I can attach it to my studio strobe like I have here, a pro photo strobe, and I'm able to make a studio quality portrait on what is essentially a large format instant photo. So let's take a shot of Sharina. Good. So once I've made my exposure, I can simply pull it out and let it develop for two minutes. I can uh, scan it or do whatever I want with it. So the first thing we're gonna work with here is an image transfer. Pretty easy to do. Now the one catch here is that if light hits the negative before it transfers onto the paper, you'll either overexpose it and get no photo or get a solarized image. So the, tr the steps here are we're gonna make our photo, we're gonna pull it from the camera, we'll wait about 20 or so seconds, then we're gonna peel it apart and we're gonna put the negative onto the piece of watercolor paper, trying to get as little light onto it as possible. Once it's on the watercolor paper, we use our roller and we're just gonna roll back and forth on it for about 40 seconds and then peel it apart. And hopefully we'll have a beautiful transfer. Okay, so the final thing that you can do with the, the FU100 color film is you can recover the negative. If you look at the color negative, you can kind of see a picture here, but this is really, really dark. Uh, and that's because of this black backing. So what we want to do is remove this. And it's a really a simple process. It's a little bit messy, but it is simple. You need a piece of glass, which I have one right here. Thank you. You're going to put your negative face down on the glass. Now, the important thing here is that you're doing it the, the right order. This, the black backing should be facing up. If any of this uh, bleach material that we're going to use gets on the, the front of it, it ruins it. So you want to use tape here to tape the edges. What you don't want is any of your uh, chemical, which is bleach basically, to get on the front of it. So I'm going to tape down really well. The reason I like paper tape is because once you do hit it with water, which we're going to have to do at the end, it'll just come right off. So it's really easy to peel it off the, off the, uh, off the backing. So I'm going to use this. I'm gonna use this bathroom cleaner that has bleach in it. That's the important part. None of this is, you know, uh, orange cleaner or whatever. You want actual bleach. You can use real bleach if you want, but it's really uh, hard to use because it's liquid. This is a gel. So you squirt a little bit on there. You take just a cheap brush, and I'm just gonna rub it in and get it all over this black material. So leave that sit for a minute to absorb in. We're gonna take just our darkroom tray again. And we're just gonna pour water right on it. Oop. Always put the glove on the hand that you're gonna rub with. I'm just gonna pour water on it. Oh yeah, that seemed to work. This is not boiling water, it's just regular water. Room temperature. And you can see, I don't know if the camera can see it, I can see it from here, but we'll lift it up to the light, I guess. So you can see now, that I have a, a completely transparent negative. You can easily scan this or even do contact printing or things like that. So these instant films are a really fun tool to use on your shoots, whether you're doing portraits or fashion. It adds just a different edge to just the same old digital shot that people are using. Not only do your, your clients love to have a physical print to walk away with, but it's a piece of art that you can work with. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.